Hello friends, welcome back. This is episode number 60, and we have completed our Gym Leader Rematch Challenge. Now we are up for another challenge. As you can see, I am back at the Battle Tower. And as you can probably guess from the episode title, we are going to be doing a few matches here in the Single Battle Battle Tower today. Um, I have already done 14 matches off screen. Those were actually pretty easy. They um, had a lot of unavowed Pokemon and pretty weak Pokemon, so... I think on round three they should actually have some much stronger ones culminating with the, uh, I don't know if he's called the Frontier Brain or the Tower Tycoon, probably Tower Tycoon. Um, but you've seen him before as uh, the tall blonde, blonde guy who reminds us a little bit of Barry. Um, Alright, we're going to enter our main team, and you can only use three Pokemon. Um, I think I actually did a few of these matches earlier in the Let's Play, like I said it's been a few months so not entirely sure. But let's go ahead and start with, um, I'm going to use Tori. Ace and let's go with let's go with Billy. Um, and I'll probably use these guys for a few matches and then, assume we don't lose, I'll switch up to the other three for the uh, final few matches. Hopefully these aren't, aren't too hard. I did have one where I fought a Munchlax, which had the move Fisher, which is a one-hit KO move. So it only has 30% accuracy, but as long as your opponent is the same or lower level, which obviously we are being in the Battle Tower, um, it has a 30% chance to knock them out in one hit. And he got lucky twice in a row, which made me very, very nervous, because I came very close to losing that battle, even though I really shouldn't have. But thankfully I prevailed and saved us some time. So, so far these battles have been pretty quick, but... Um, we're going to hopefully get through them, and what I think I'll do is if we have extra time at the end, I don't think we will, but if we do, I might even do a few more battles as a bonus, but let's uh, cross that bridge as we get to it. Alright, Grodel, who is I think just grass type, um, might be grass and ground, like um, its evolution for Terra, but I think it's just grass. Yeah, if it was grass and ground, that would be a one-hit knockout for sure. Mega Drain? Alright, so because it's Mega Drain and not Giga Drain... Uh, it won't do as much damage. I think Mega Drain... I know they increased Giga Drain from 60 to 75. I don't know if they increased Mega Drain from 40 or if it's still at 40. But... Ah, oh, not quite enough. Alright, we could switch. Oh, maybe we should have switched there. Maybe we really just had a, uh, a type disadvantage for this one. And I believe all their Pokemon are EV trained as well. They tend to have good items in all too. Yeah, I probably should have switched into uh, Ace, in all honesty, instead of letting Tori faint. So, hopefully we don't lose in the very first battle. That'd be very embarrassing and very annoying, because I'd have to go do 14 battles off screen again. But, Ace should be faster. Yes, okay. And that's super effective, so once again we're matched up 2-2. Two to two. And I am a little nervous, because I think probably Tori and Ace are... Um, let's use Dig, because it should be 4 times super effective. Um, are less strong than our other teammates, uh, mainly just because their moves... Um, well, I'd say in Ace's case, it doesn't have the best move coverage. And um, in Tori's case, just not the highest um, power in terms of a decent attack stat, but not like a super great attack stat like Garchomp. Um, but then also sort of a low base power main stab attack in Waterfall. I guess Billy sort of has that problem, but being um, being just a very high stat Pokemon and having a, a good diversity of move types plus the Expert Belt sort of makes up for it. Alright, a Dragon type. Um, let's go ahead and go with Excisor, just get some damage on this Shelgun here. And because Shelgun is only Dragon type, it will take some damage as well. Ooh, it might have a defense, uh, some defense EVs or a plus defense nature. it does seem um, like it took that attack pretty well. Now, it's not a stab attack, so there is that. Protect! Okay, definitely don't want to use Dig then, because if it protects at the right time, it can really negate any effects of my Dig. Could use Iron Tail, hoping for that defense boost, or whatever it is, but the chance of missing, I think X's are just a lot safer. Alright, Dragon Breath. So it does seem like these Pokemon don't have the best moves, but the further we get in the Battle Tower, the stronger they will get, and... Um, the Tower Tycoon himself, I'm sure, will hold no punches. I know in the... I'm pretty sure in the original games and in the remakes both, he had a Melodic, a Rhyperior, and a Dragonite. All very strong Pokémon, 
with very good stats, and I think they actually had very good moves and items as well. Um, I'm not sure if he has the same team or a totally different team. I didn't look it up. Kind of want to go in surprised. Um, if you want to see me face Palmer with that team, um, I do face him in my Heart Gold Let's Play. So if you do Battle Tower, Heart Gold, Aravale, or um, Tower Tycoon, Palmer, if one of those should probably come up. Probably the Battle Tower. All right, we are getting a little low on HP, just chipping away at each other, but I don't think Shogun has any HP restoring moves. So, yep, down he goes. All right, and that's that. And you can tell their Pokemon don't really match their um, the type of trainer they are. So, well, I guess uh, like Magcargo is not really anything related to birds. I guess birds eat snails, but that doesn't really make sense. Um, at least uh, Shelgun can evolve into Salamence, which is a flying type. This may hurt a little bit, but we'll, but we'll be done quick. Hold still. Don't like the sound of that. Sounds like I'm at the dentist or something. Beauty Elena, and she has a Seedra, okay. So water type versus water type. Um, I could switch into Ace here. In fact, that might be a good bet. Um... I'm always like paranoid, like is Cedric going to use like agility and then have Ice Beam against Ace, but even so... Mm -hmm. Let's do a crunch, just I kind of want to see what the Cedric wants to do. We might get a defense drop, which would be nice as well. Smoke screen, okay. Well, after the accuracy drop, I'm definitely going to switch because that'll kind of... Uh, be an even trade-off. Like she used one turn for smokescreen, uh, which will be reset by the switch, and I used one turn for switching. So we kind of each wasted a turn in a sense there. Smokescreen again. Okay, that's annoying. But I will stay in. We do have a 66% chance of hitting. Um, so yeah, let's see what happens. Up oh, there we go. And rain dance. Okay, so it does have swift swim. Well, presumably. Otherwise, why would you use rain dance? So it will be faster, and we are uh, not super accurate. I could bring in Tori again. But, okay, there we go. Oh, we're still faster. That's Maybe it doesn't have Swift Swim. It might have a random ability. I think the Pokemon of the Battle Tower actually do have random abilities, if it, look, if it works similar to the Battle Mason in, uh, in Alpha Sapphire. All right, well, this is kind of fortuitous, because even though we're facing a Fire-type, it is in the rain, so I'm not as worried as I otherwise would be. And we do have Dig, which will be super effective against Monferno here, being a Fire-type. Should be a one-hit knockout. Of course, we do have the uh, Accuracy drop still, so... There is always that chance. And Persian, okay. Not a Pokémon I've seen in a while, but uh, it's a normal type, so... Let's go with our Stab Leaf Blade and Fake Out, which always goes first and always flinches. Unless there's a reason for it not to. A little bit of damage, but shouldn't matter in the long run. Now, Persian is very fast. It's not very strong, but it is very fast. It has actually, I think, a decent move pool. It just doesn't have the stats to use them. Like, it can learn, I think, Thunderbolt. Um, I don't know about Ice Beam, but it can learn Blizzard, I think. It's been a very long time since I've seen a, or trained a Persian, but I feel like it had decent moves. Okay, we are confused, and we have been smokescreened, so if this doesn't work, I'm probably going to just switch. Well, on the other hand, I don't really want to switch into something and, like, I don't know. Let's just, uh, yeah. Did a good job, Ace. Took down two or three Pokemon and did a lot of damage to Persian. I think our teammates should have no trouble finishing this up. All right, Tori. And Waterfall. These battles are definitely taking a little bit longer than the previous ones were. The other ones were pretty much all one shot, so I timed them kind of thinking, okay, each one of these battles takes about two minutes or a little less. So I can probably fit seven into an episode, no problem, even if they're a little bit longer. But um, that was battle number two, right? So this might be a little bit of a longer episode than I thought. I guess worst case, I could always do a few off screen and then switch, but let's see how this one goes. It also takes longer because I need to do a little bit more thinking during these ones. And just because there's more turns. If it's not a one shot, it takes a lot longer for all the animations and everything. Gloom. This is actually the third Gloom I faced in like the last 10 battles. There were two in a row that both led with Gloom, so 
Just coincidence, I suppose, but all right. Um, I don't know what Gloom wants to do, but because it's part poison type, it will not be weak to X Scissor. So let's go ahead and just use Ice Beam, which will be super effective. Stun Spore, eh. Not ideal, but not the end of the world either. And there, uh, there is no affection mechanic in the Battle Tower. Suspiciously, it's almost like they knew it's a bad idea. But um, yeah, so I'm glad about that at least. That would make things very unfair. Um, so because of that, we can't just like shake off our paralysis. All right, first, cool Pokemon. Trained one of those in my very first Pokemon Gold playthrough. Kind of like Persian, it uh, has very good, um, a very good move pool, but not really the stats to back it up. In fact, I suspect that Furret has a better uh, attack stat than physical, sorry, physical attack stat than special attack stat. Um, even though it has a lot of good special moves in its TM move pool. Alright, Slam. It's a decent normal type attack, not the best, doesn't have perfect accuracy, but uh, definitely doing some damage there. And like, why are they protecting? Like, that's not getting you anything. I guess it's wasting my power points, but like this is not going to be a battle where I really need all 15 power points. Whenever I, oh, two, two HP. Good job, Tori. Um, whenever I think of Slam, I always think of like training like a Dragonair because it always learns Slam, but like what's a little like 40 something, so you do use it for a decent amount of time. All right, Pelipper and Drizzle. Oh, interesting. Um, that's funny because I actually would get the uh, the boost from that from Swift Swim, but. Uh, let's use Crunch, because I think... Let me check my stash just so I know my Pokemon. Oh, not swap. I think we do have... Uh, oh yeah, much higher attack stats, so... I should definitely keep that in mind for future battles. Crunch will do a lot more damage, even though it's less base power, because it's working off of that stat. This Pelipper might have some uh, defense EVs, though. Alright, get a nice Restory. Uh, let's go ahead and just bring in Billy. I imagine that one wild charge should knock out this Pelipper. No problem. It is, after all, four times weak to it. Alright, there we go. Three battles done. And we got to use Billy, which is good, because I hadn't used him yet. Whoops. What is that? Alright. Um, my antivirus blocked a security threat. So that's interesting, because I was playing this game and not trying to visit any websites, but okay. I will deal with that later. A little disconcerting. I mean, I'm glad it's blocked, but let's do one more with this team. Hopefully I don't regret that, and then we'll switch it up. Hello there, trainer. Please battle with me. I would be happy to, reporter lady. Reporter Valeria. I know a Valeria. Kabuto. Okay, Kabuto... I kind of wish Ace was first, because that'd be uh, four times super effective. Um, I'll probably stay in, though, and just use Waterfall. Kabuto, I imagine, has a pretty good... Uh... Oh, I could use Brick Break. Well, didn't really matter, because Kabuto is going to protect, so... Yeah. Forgot that I have Brick Break, which is super effective. Kabuto is Water and Rock type, so... Waterfall is not going against Water, it's good against Rock, so it's evenly effective. But Brick Break, being Fighting type, is super effective. And looks like it has a Heal Berry of some sort. Citrus Berry. Yeah, that Munchlux I faced earlier was really annoying too because it had a, like a Figgy Berry and Recycle, which basically means it has Recover. Um, and it had Stockpile, which got its defenses up, so basically it... I can't remember if I had Tori or Ace where it was facing it. It really got its defenses pretty high, and was recovering, and then started using Fisher, and I was really, really worried. But anyway. Cast Form, okay. Cast Form is a normal type unless it's raining, so... Uh, let's see. Waterfall, 80. Yeah, I think Brick Break should do more, we said, right? Because Brick Break is essentially 150. It's 75 base power times 2 being super effective, so 150 power. Um, waterfall is 80, plus Stab is uh, another half of that, so 120. Mystic Water is... Uh, so it's yeah, 144 versus 150. And Alright, down goes Tori, but Tori did a great job there. Knocked out uh, one of her Pokemon or two? Can't remember now. Kabuto, I think this is her second, so actually, uh, yeah, okay. 
little nervous. Hopefully we're faster. I think we should be. Yeah, okay. So now it's 2v1, so our odds are definitely fairly good. Not guaranteed, but fairly good. Raticate, okay. A lot of these like normal type two-stage Pokemon from the uh, older gens. Um, yeah, especially with our expert belt, Brick Break will definitely do the most. It's pretty fast though, apparently. And Super Fang always takes away half of your opponent's remaining HP. So it's actually a really good move. All right, down goes Raticate, and yeah, we're gonna take a quick little break because this is battle number four, right? Already lost track, but I believe so. And we're hey, we're at the 15 minute mark. Or thereabouts. We'll probably need some extra time for the uh, Tower Tycoon, so yeah, let's take a break. And I'm not really going to take a break. Um, I'm going to re enter with the other three members of our team. I still make you select the whole team though, but I like that you can do like presets. Alright, so let's lead with Win, because he has pretty good diversity in type matchups. Probably should give him the expert belt, but. Um, I guess he really wouldn't have too much super effective against... He does have close combat, right? Alright, in the interest of time, I'm going to just go for it. I still have the Black Belt, so... Yeah, I guess I could use like Stone Edge against Dragonite. I'm facing Melodic. Yeah, let's go for it. I'm picturing... Um, I'm assuming Palmer has the same team. I could be wrong about that and trying to picture what moves I would use against his, his team. Um, Stone Edge would do more damage to Dragonite if it has the Expert Belt, but Close Combat would do more to Melodic. Oh, I do have Grass Knot! I probably should use the Expert Belt. I forgot I had Grass Knot. That would actually do a lot of damage to Melodic. So I was thinking I would use Close Combat against, uh, against everyone's favorite Water Snake. Or is that Gyarados? I'll let you guys fight out in the comments. All right, keep battling. We'll watch Palmer have a totally different team. All right, a Fisherman, but that does not mean he will have water types, not here in the Battle Tower. Fisherman Braxton, not a name you hear too often. And a Quillfish, okay, he does have a water type, so... Water and Poison. Um, and we don't have Earthquake. Oh, Intimidate. Didn't realize Quillfish would have Intimidate. I might actually switch in that case. Because we don't have anything that's really great against it, right? No, not really. In fact, it resists both of our stab moves. Um, and after that attack drop, I just don't think I want to stay in. I don't know... I could Intimidate with Anna, which is really the reason I don't have Anna up first, because I don't want to be intimidating random Pokemon. I want to save it for physical attackers, and I assume Quillfish is a physical attacker. I don't, really don't know too much about it. Um, oh, Minimize! I hate that. I hate that. Because I think it, like, sharply increases evasiveness, right? Yes! Oh, that's... Why did they increase that from one stage to two? That's just, like... Please hit. Please hit. Okay, good. Don't have a Focus Ash. Okay, cool. That could have gotten really annoying if it started just avoiding all of my attacks. There is a reason that evasiveness boosting, boosting moves are banned from competitive play. Togetic, a fairy and flying type. Um, do I switch out and save Tom for later? I think I might just stay in and go for a Stone Edge. Because it has a good chance of hitting. Yeah, and it's super effective. Didn't quite knock it out. Kind of surprised at that. Wish, okay. Wish is kind of like Recover, but it takes a, an extra turn. Um, it's a shame that like all my other moves either have no effect or are not very effective. Because I don't like Stone Edge's... Uh, yeah, Stone Edge's 80% accuracy, I think. Alright, a lot of damage, but Togetic is not fully evolved. Oh, it got the Wish, okay. That, that definitely hurts, but I think one more stone edge should still knock it out. Yes, there we go. Good job, Garchomp, defeating a fairy type. Not a fully evolved fairy type, fairy type, but um, actually Tokus is a really good counter for Garchomp because it resists both of its stab attacks. In fact, it's immune to both of its stab attacks. Um, now Crunch, uh, actually with the soft sand, Earthquake should do more. So let's go for that even though Crunch is super effective. 160 versus 180, I think, if I did my math right there. So we're quick as base 100, stab is 150, and then another 20%. Yep, 180. And Cadaver has weak defenses, regardless. 
All right, like I said, we have uh, two battles to go. But if I lose against the Tower Tycoon, I'll have to do this off screen and come back for a rematch. So if you see a long video, that could mean I lost or it could mean I kept going. So like I said, I'll keep going and uh, do a few more battles afterwards. One just for fun and two so you guys can't tell if I win or not. We'll both be going in blind together. All right, Wigglytuff is a normal and fairy type in this generation. Um, so normal is weak to fighting and fairy resistance. So uh, we do have the black belt. Let's go ahead and use close combat. It does lower our defenses, of course, but Wigglytuff is not a super strong attacker, so I'm still not super worried about what it's going to do. Disable, okay, well, I can live with that. We'll have to use, like, Flare Blitz or something to finish it off, but uh, that should do the trick, no problem. So, yeah, I'm not going to, uh, well, I don't know, let me put it this way. I'm not planning to do any more Battle Tower on screen after uh, after this one. I already did, I think, a double battle a couple episodes ago, and, um, or hold that thought. Lunatone is Psychic and Rock. Um, I could use Grass Knot, but I'm not sure how heavy it is. Probably not very heavy, judging by the fact that it floats. Oh, it's disabled. Oh, that's right. Well, I guess Grass Knot it is then. Um, it should do some damage at least. Um, but what I might end up doing is doing more of the Battle Tower off screen, just to um, get more points. Confusion is a very weak psychic attack, but. It does get stabbed, I'm weak to it, and I have that defense drop, so there you go. Alright, now because we have Levitate, Earthquake won't do a lot of damage. Crunch still would. Um, it's a physical attacker, but it is damaged. Close combat, yeah. I could use U-Turn, which is super effective, I just don't know if it would knock it out. Or do I bring in Tom and go for Crunch? which is also super effective and would do more damage off of my higher attack stat. Um, let's bring in Tom. I'm probably overthinking these. I probably don't need to try as hard as I am, but just because the stakes are so high and if we lose one, we have to start all the way over at battle number one again. Um, yeah, I want to be, uh, I don't want to make any dumb mistakes. All right, two Pokemon versus Celio. That shouldn't be too hard. Celio is a water and ice type. Um, Stone Edge is super effective, but I'm gonna use Earthquake because Earthquake is basically 180 base power due to Stab and Soft Sand. Uh, Stone Edge would be 200, so it's a little more powerful, but um, ooh, that's gonna hurt. Wow, we held on. I was not expecting that, to be honest with you. Um, good job, Tom. Um, but yeah, for the accuracy loss, I'd rather have the guaranteed hit. Yeah, Blizzard is a, a one, well, it used to be 120, I think it's now it's 110. Base power move, it gets stabbed from Celio's ice type, four times super effective. Very nicely done, Tom. All right, next up is the Tower Tycoon. So while I might do some uh, battle towering off screen, I'm not gonna try to go for 50 battles or 49 battles whenever the next Tower Tycoon is. Um, well, same Tower Tycoon, but different Pokemon, better Pokemon, uh, arguably. Usually they have like legendaries. Oh, here we go. The Tower Tycoon has sent word that he is impressed with you. He recognizes your skill and he'd like to challenge you to a battle. Are you ready to battle the Tower Tycoon? Born ready. There he is, Palmer. I like his hair, it's like a wild mess. Hi, my name is Palmer. I remember you from when you were in Twinleaf, Sin. You were always playing with my son Barry, right? You've grown up since then, and most impressively too. So I'd like you to show me. Show me the bond you've built with your Pokemon. Show me the skill you've acquired as a trainer. That's the plan. His sprite was the one I used when I made myself, I may have told the story already, but a little like trainer card for my, all my friends and my cousins and I. And I would use like MS Paint, this is back in like, I don't know, early 2000s, and change the colors of them. So I gave him like I think like a white jacket with silver buttons or something, and, but I used that sprite for my um, sprite on the trainer card. All right, he does have the same three, and look, here we are, Wind versus Melodic, and I, I really wish I had the, um, I really wish I had the Expert Belt, but okay. Uh, let's see, I could bring in Anna. All my Pokemon are kind of weak to Melodic. I really didn't choose these three based on his team. Maybe I should have. Um, I 
don't know how heavy Melodic is. Um, and oh, my special attack is a lot lower. Let's... I think Melodic does have a much lower defense unless it has like the burn, which it does not. So let's go with Close Combat. Yeah, Melodic is actually kind of a special wall, so... I do think Close Combat will do more damage, or about the same amount of damage as Grass Not Wood. Coming off of my Inferno Ape. Now the downside here, I didn't think of until just now, is I do have a lower staff, and honestly Hydro Pump would have knocked me out either way. I'm, I'm pretty positive, so... Alright, not up to a great start. I was gonna give in... Oh, you know, I could've given him the Focus Sash. Because I would have still had it, because it's a battle tower, so it doesn't really go away. Um, I'd like to save Anna's Intimidate. Because his other two are physical attackers, Rhyperior and Dragonite. Which I'm pretty sure his Dragonite is physical. Alright, let's use Earthquake. It should be a lot of damage. Um, yeah, I would think... Ooh, he, oh no, he's going to switch it to probably Dragonite. Yep, uh, I should have used like Dragon Claw or something. Hopefully we're faster. We are speedy to be trained and we do have a much faster base speed. Although I don't think we have a plus speed nature, whereas that Dragonite could. Um, so let's see. Yes, we are faster. How much damage will this do? Dragonite, oh, we had must have multi-scale. All right, hold on, hold on, Tom. Ah, oh, super effective coming off a of Dragonite. Yeah, that's a lot of damage. Well, this is not great. Um, perhaps I should have put a little more thought into this, but all right, Anna, it's all up to you. We do have Intimidate, which is nice, but um, ooh, it's Anna versus uh, versus Rhyperior. I don't, I don't enjoy the sound of that. Um, let's use Brave Bird. Yeah, so uh, multi scale is an ability that makes you take half as much damage the first time you're attacked, or if you're attacked with full HP. Otherwise, my Dragon Claw might have finished it off. It would have been close. But, um, yeah, not with multi scale. It's a great ability. I believe that the game is Dragonite, because Dragonite is my favorite Pokemon. But, alright. Um, we do have close combat, which is super effective, except it's only one time super effective, and Rhyperior has a very high defense stat, and we don't get stabbed from it, so. And it lowers our defenses, so unless we get, like, a miss on, like, a rock type attack. Then we might have a chance. Oh, it didn't even do half being super effective. Yeah, this is not good. <sighs> I don't mind doing a rematch. I mind that I'm going to have to do 20 more battles off screen to get to the rematch. Rock Wrecker is the rock type hyper beam. There's just no way Anna survives this. Sorry, Anna. All right, well, match one against the Tower Tycoon. So, what I'm going to do is uh, get back to this point off screen with 20 more battles. Um, and then. Uh, I'm also going to put some thought into what Pokemon we use, now that I know for sure what his team is. I probably should have just assumed it was the same, but I was... My thought was like, I have no idea what his team is, I'll just use my three, or three of my better Pokemon. Um, and that didn't go well, so... Yeah, Win is actually weak to like all three of his Pokemon. Well, I guess not Dragonite. Well, Dragonite might have a flying move, probably doesn't, but could be. Um, but Dragonite does resist both my stab attacks, so... Maybe not the best bet for this one. Um, so yeah, I'll think about it, and I'll come back, and we will take on Palmer once again. Alright, I am back, and I did something kind of stupid. I was getting back up to battle number 21, and uh, once I had defeated battle number 20, the lady here asked me, uh, am I ready to face the Tower Tycoon? And I said no. So she said, do you want to cancel your challenge? And I was afraid to say no then because cancel really sounds like you're just giving up and that's it and you gotta restart all over again, um, which it might be. So I hit yes and then here we are at the battle. So I don't know if there's a way to actually change your team between 6 and 7. Maybe I just clicked the prompts too fast and didn't see it. Um, but basically I have a uh, not ideal team for this matchup. In fact it's probably, if not the same team, a very similar team to last time. But um, I figured we'll go ahead and record this and give it a go and see what happens. Worst case, I'll just go ahead and uh, um, do the 20 battles again, which I'll probably have to do, but let's see what we can do. All right, so um, Billy is not great against any of his, well, I guess good against Melodic, so should I save Billy? Um, the trouble is the only one who's really good against him would be Win with Grass Knot. So, um, let's use Earthquake. Is anybody else good against Melodic, though? I guess Grass not again. Um, 
I just don't want to switch into like a rock wrecker, which I probably will, so. Or an earthquake, but everybody is either weak or neutral to earthquakes, so. Do I sacrifice Garchomp? But the other two can't do anything to Dragonite. Yeah, this is just not the team for this, so. Let's give it a go. I think I might actually use. Um, I might still use Wind because. Um, a special. Oh, we probably should switch into Garchomp. I, just, I thought it was a lot more likely he would use Earthquake than uh, Rock Wrecker. Um, all right, let's send in. I also wish I had the Focus Sash, but I don't. Um, all right, I'll probably have to hope for a Dragon Rush miss to have like, any chance of winning this. I'm kind of playing it out in my head. But yeah, Grass Knot is definitely good, being a special move, and Melodic and Rhyperior both being very heavy. Let's use it now. Um, so I'll probably actually still bring Wind, despite the, which you would think would be a type disadvantage. Um, I might bring Ace for the same reason, Grass being super effective against two of these Pokemon. And then I might give a Focus Sash to Garchomp to deal with Dragonite, that's kind of my... Um, thought right now, or also maybe Tori, because Tori might be faster, maybe that actually would be better. Um, we'll see. Alright, let's use... Uh, Grass Knight has base power 100 against Melodic, I did look that up. Um, so, be so it would be... Actually, Close Combat would do more damage here. Well, it depends. It depends if Melodic's defense or Special Defense is higher. I think it's Special Defense will be higher. So let's use Close Combat. Because the Hydro Pump will knock us out either way. Unless it misses. If it misses, we're in decent shape. And it missed, okay. So, this will be a close battle, but I think the odds may be just slightly in our favor. Um, I don't know how fast Dragonite is compared to Win. Infernape has a much higher base speed, so we might be faster. And if we can break multi scale, this could be it. Just need a little bit of luck with that Hydro Pump miss, and, uh... Okay, so... I only have one move that's super effective. The question is, if I break Multiscale with any of these other moves... Multiscale being the ability that makes Dragonite take half damage at full health, um, would Garchomp's Dragon Claw be enough to defeat it? And because it did about half with Multiscale last time, I think it would. Um, let's see, Flare Blitz and Close Combat are both half effective. Close combat has black belts. Let's go with that. And yeah, it's not bad for a little bit of a chip damage there. And I'm sure whatever it does now will be enough to defeat us. Aqua Tail, okay. As long as it wasn't Dragon Dance. Dragon Dance would be concerning. Alright, here we go. Dragon type versus Dragon type. Now we should be faster, and multi scale is broken, because Dragon Knight is not full HP. So the question is, will Dragon Claw be enough? All right, Tom, here it goes. And down goes Dragonite. Okay, so despite being not an idealized team, got uh, just a little bit of luck there and I made up for it. So, hey, I'll take it. Losing to an outstanding trainer like you, I can live with that. Bravo. One day I imagine my son will come challenge me just as you have. That's something I look forward to a great deal. You will become ever more skilled the very same way your father did. Keep battling trainers from around the world and keep growing greater in stature. And that's the plan. All right, and we got, I think, 20 battle points? Yeah. So that's nice. If you get 50 of those, you can actually get an item that can change. It doesn't really change your Pokemon's nature, but it will change their um, the effect of the nature. So it's basically the same thing. Um, so I might try to go for those. I'm not sure how much grinding that'll be, um, but I'll do that off screen. And then if I do get to the Tower Tycoon a second time, I'll probably insert that into a later episode, but that is all for now. Thank you all for watching, and when we come back, we will have our secondary team for some fun final battles.